okay. The dark presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. Assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. Scratches wakes double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. <sighs> I just need to understand more. <laughs> you got that right. Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? Scratch pretended to be Wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. I had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wake's. I think he was always a monster. Always Scratch.
Scratch was pretending to be awake. Manipulating me. What does he want from me? No. I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. <laughs> when that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, The horror story is changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here, even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. After getting his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskalan knew what he was up against. He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalas sabotaged the FBC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. Something else washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. I think you may be right. Might have been a mistake to come here. I don't think Marcy's coming back. Fuck, Riley. 
This is so messed up. I know. I'm sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. What are you up for? And now, the sheriff station? Did you hear? Hear what? Apparently, they locked up that crime writer, you know. The one who disappeared in Bright Falls years ago. And then, they find him, and boom! All hell breaks loose. Big city folk. The FBI. Famous writers. Ugh. They're all bad luck, if you ask me. So, is everyone all right down there in Bright Falls? I just don't know. There's a lot of good folk in that town. A lot of friendly folk. And it used to be such a nice, quiet place, too. Like watery. Before certain people came to town. Uh
Ilmo Koskal had jolted awake from a nightmare. He was drenched in sweat. In the dream, he'd been covered in blood, gleefully murdering people, his friends. When his twin brother had tried to talk sense into him, he had murdered Yako as well. Ilmo slammed his fist into his temple so hard it hurt. The dream made him feel sick. The dark force of the lake was growing stronger. It was trying to make Ilmo and Yako something they were not. Trying to turn them into Ilmari and Yakopi Huatari from the early days of Watery. But they were the Koskala brothers. Their mother had not raised them to become murderers. They had backbone. They had honor. They had finished Zisu. Something bad was coming. The hidden device they had hooked to the FBC station had been intercepting alarms like crazy the past few days. Ilmo would make sure his cult was ready for war. Out in the night, the story seeking to give birth to an overlap in water he drifted on, looking for another pair of men more prone to corruption. This has got to be an Ilmo idea. They're too old to fight monsters. The torchbearers are done. We need something new. Ilmo took a long drag from the joint and handed it to his brother. They'd been drinking and smoking all night. That thing from the lake was not a man, and the government's trying to hide it. Ilmo gestured at the files they had stolen from the research station. The strange seal with an upside-down pyramid. The Federal Bureau of Control. We need to keep the feds away. Deal with us our way. We need an army of our own. They're too old to fight monsters. The torchbearers are done. We need something new. Ilmo took a long drag from the joint and handed it to his brother. They'd been drinking and smoking all night. That thing from the lake was not a man, and the government's trying to hide it. Ilmo gestured at the files they had stolen from the research station. The strange seal with an upside-down pyramid. The Federal Bureau of Control. We need to keep the feds away. Deal with us our way. We need an army of our own. Yako smiled. He loved to watch his brother come up with his ideas. Ilmo's gaze swam. It was seeing double. The pyramid on the folder was a spruce tree. A tree, he thought. A fucking tree. It was a sign. We'll make the woods scary again. So fucking scary, no one will set foot in them at night. That's how we'll keep people safe. We'll be a legend. We are the cult of the tree, and we watch in the night. We're gonna need scary masks. Energized, Yako chugged a bottle of Ama beer in one go. Hmm. Q. 
keep trying.
do you know? You're just an apprentice. You have no idea the pressures a professional like me is under. What do you know? You're just an apprentice. You have no idea the pressures a professional like me is under. Opening. I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yaku was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. In a case my ex hated. The ones that might kill me. That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just a name did half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101, fear is a great motivator. 
You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. Ilmo said the cult kills Taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a Taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Think Saga. Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Makes sense. Hmm. I'm gonna deal with the situation, Elmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. 
Thank you, Ilmo. So the cold of the tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side, even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Too many versions of the truth. We have a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family, me, the whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there. So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau Intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Um, thanks. Go team. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Well, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. So sorry, Yoko.
snake is a gateway to the dark place. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as.
The clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. I need to know what information I can still trust. Wake told me the clicker would fix this, but Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about...